Similarities can be found everywhere. Our life, our surroundings, represents inspiration for many creators. But how would that be to be able to experience the future and the past in the same time at a greater scale of realism? We leave some over behind and we go deeper into history. Today's scum tourist adventure will lead us from contemporary to medieval with a short stop into recent past. I invite you to join me in this journey and let's travel the world of scum and be a tourist in game for one day. Today we are going towards aka the castle in game in D2 sector nearby the dam, but we have to make a short stop on our way at a symbolic location which has quite a story to tell. Our stop is here at the dam. When we play scum, for many of us, the dam is a good sniper location, a good ambush point, easy loot compound, and for the boulder, the shortcut to the mountains that connects the south side of the map with the north side of the map. I have tried to identify the dam in game with a real dam in Croatia, but I came to the conclusion that it is a symbolic POI. That's because in Croatia there are a total of 16 hydroelectric power plants and the dam in-game represents all of them. Anyhow, I did found a dam in Croatia that is quite similar with the one in-game and I have a strong feeling that this is it. Jaruga Hydroelectric Power Plant In the full meaning of the word iconic, Jaruga Hydroelectric Power Plant, it is a true symbol of all the dams being the oldest of its kind in Europe. Before going any further, I would love to mention that the lake that you see behind me can be also found in real life in Croatia and it is called Logve Lake. It has the same name as Logve Town and Logve Town in game it is a really good spot to get screwdrivers from and it is located just above the lake as in real life. Coming back to Jaruga power plant I must say it is impressive. It was the first power plant built in Croatia and in Europe and the second one in the world being operational just two days after the first power plant built in the world located at Niagara Falls. This is quite amazing. But there is more. Located on the river Krka, the construction of the dam and the power plant began in 1894 and it took only six months to completion. All of this were happening out of the idea of Shibenik mayor who wanted to provide electricity to streetlights in his city. And he did it. Shibenik city was the first city in the world with streetlights powered by a polyphase system of alternating current. The city was connected to the power plant throughout 11 kilometers of wire sustained by wooden poles. One last thing I want to mention before we hit the road. The current location dates back to 1903 when it was moved from the original location of Jaruga power station built in 1895. The dams in Croatia had a hard time being attacked during the world wars, but this only made them stronger. For sure, next time when I see the dam in game, I will see it from another perspective. And off we go to our final destination for today, Starigrad Samobor, old city of Samobor, aka the castle in Skam. I must admit that I was not expecting this to be a real thing, but when I started research Scum POIs, I was amazed to find the castle in real life as well, not only in game. Samobor Castle is actually the old town of Samobor, and Samobor City was actually a market where all the locals were trading back in the day. The old town of Samobor, the castle, it is located on Hill Tepec at a height of 250 meters on the northwestern corner of Sava Valley, just above the medieval market of Samobor, and it was built by supporters of Czech King Otokar between the years 1260 and 1264. In real life, from Samobor city to Samobor castle, it is only a 10 minutes walk. The fortification was originally a stone fortress built on solid rock. Within the walls, at the core of the castle, we have the ruins of a gothic chapel. On the southern side of the core, there was a high defense tower, which is the only remaining of the original structure built in 13th century of Otokar castle. Last residents of the castle left in 18th century and the castle started to decay since then. Over the centuries the castle had many owners until it was purchased by Samobor municipality from the last owner in 1902. Today this picturesque ruins of the old town above Samobor is part of the beauty of the city, watching over the main square in Samobor, King Tomislav Square, reminding us of the old times. I would love to stay a little bit longer to enjoy the nature and the richful tales, but the night is upon us and we are coming to an end, but not before asking you, how about going down south next time? 
I have an amazing spot to show you in our next adventure. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss out the next tourist adventure in SCOM. My name is Popcorn and as always, don't forget to stay safe, stay great and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.